Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another video, and we are back in XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Well, things are going pretty well for us. We're getting missions done, we're getting ready to almost, oh, figure out what's going on with the main campaign. But of course, like always, something comes up, and the Resistance, well, they let us know this time that apparently an enemy UFO has landed somewhere, so it's up to us to go ahead and hijack it for all of its goodies. And of course, everyone's favourite. Good old XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Alright. Commander, we have the position of a vulnerable UFO that's set down in this region. One UFO? Move fast. There's a chance Let's go and get it. Nice Alright. Um. Let's see, I'll try and see if we can use a B team for this one, that would be ideal. Setting course for Eastern European Ward. So how are you all? It's been a bit of a It's been an interesting week with me. Well, well sir, it has been a bit of an interesting week. Um part of an upcoming video that I recently got. Um Yeah, fun fact, don't use something like a utility knife to undo zip ties on a cable. Especially if you're holding the cable underneath that, because, <laughs> oh, yeah, it doesn't end well. So that's why I've had such an interesting week. I've really not been able to do anything, and it's been like four or five days since I've actually been able to do a video, so it's like, yeah, a little out of the swing of things, but I'm sure I'll muddle through like I always do. UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area, neutralize all hostiles. Okay, there's the UFO. First thing I want to do, fan out, scout the area, and see what's waiting for us. And what do you know, there's a couple of enemy squads. We've got one with the Andromedon inspectors, and another one that's got some an Advent Priest and a couple of other bits off in the distance there. Jordan, light them up. Nicely done. Okay, so let's uh, try to get into position. Your poor habits must be wearing off on me. You don't say, Julian, you don't say. I just love it when the game decides to glitch out and just look at the same scene for about five minutes. Oh well. Alright. First order of business, I want to take care of those spectres, so of course we don't have to lose any troops in the middle of this. But on top of that, we really do need to deal with, well, of course the Andromedon, because, you know, Andromedons are scary. Like, really scary. As you wish. Alright. First off, Julian, you've got overdrive, fire your weapon, try and take out that spectre. Nicely done. Next, we're going to go over strike, because it will do more damage. And of course, take out a good chunk of the Andromedon's health. It's not quite down yet, and it's still in its first phase, but hey, we will take it. Oh, bugger, there's another squad in there that's just spotted us. Okay, so we're now fighting two squads at once. We've dealt with worse odds, right? Would have been nice if that Overwatch shot actually hit it. Okay, so what they've got? Shield Bearer, Purifier, and an Archon. And there we go, the Advent Priest has spotted us as well. That's slightly inconvenient. Okay, three squads at once. We can do this, right? Okay, first thing. Anime, take out the trooper. It's not a high value target, but at the end of the day, less guns shooting at us is less guns shooting at us. We could have just damaged another enemy, but I'd rather go ahead and reduce their numbers. Anyway. Mox, use your whiplash. I mean, it would have been nice if you'd actually got him, but okay. Free damage, it's something. Let's see. Go ahead and fire your weapon at him. That would have been nice if you hit. Mox's aim today is terrible. Then again, this is just me or those Archons always an absolute nightmare to try and hit. Right, Road. Double team him. Oh, come on, your aim can't be as bad as Mox's right now. Oh, don't worry, we'll blame Jordan in the end anyway. 
There we go. A bit more damage. And the Archon is down to just under half health. Okay, right. Fire again, because you've got one last action point. And the Archon is down. Okay, that means we don't have to deal with him raining an absolute hell on top of us. See if we can't take out the Andromedon. We can't, because apparently nobody can aim today. Right, let's see. Uh, right, capacitor discharge. It's not the best choice for this, but really, I just want to take care of that Spectre. And Spectre down. That leaves the Andromedon, the Purifier, the Priest, and something else. Oh, yes, an Andromedon that can't hit. <laughs> also, I love this. I don't know why, but just during, like, all throughout this game, they seem to be adamant on setting Julian on fire. Julian's a robot. He's immune to fire. Why do they keep on trying to use fire damage on Julian? I don't know why. The, the enemy's AI this match, they just sort of went, sometimes we're going to be really good. Other times we're going to make sure that you can't hit our guys because reasons. And other times we're just not, we're just not going to do anything effective. So not only have they tried to set Julian on fire, they've now put him into stasis. What do they expect to do? Just picked up an outbound signal oh, coming from the Alright, we better hurry this along then. Alright. Jordan, open fire, take out the Andromedon. Nicely done, Shredder's armor. Put it well, back into its second phase. Klaus, open fire on him. He should be in the open now. Okay, getting closer, getting closer. Pascal! All right, Andromedon down. That just leaves the guys hiding in the UFO. Right, dual strike on the purifier. Yeah, I knew that was gonna mess. Okay, I knew they were gonna miss, but the point is, I just wanted to try and destroy some of his cover. Right, road, open fire. Okay, shields are down. Same shields are down on him. Nice. Okay. Right. So they're no longer shielded. We just need to take care of them now, which we will do in the next round. And yeah, I was saying about the purifier just making stupid decisions. I don't know why. Yeah, well, we'll open fire on him with Mox and I activate interrupt earlier so we can go ahead and well, interrupt their turn. And ready. Set fire to Julian again, despite the fact that he's immune. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I'd much rather the enemy's AI just do a stupid like that rather than actually, you know, set fire to my troops that can take fire damage. Okay, and the Advent Priest is running away. How typical. Oh, bollocks. Okay, so they've tried to mind control Pascal. God damn it. Okay, new plan. Julian, explosives, and a lot of them. See, now you could fight him properly, you know, flanking, or you could just do what I'm doing here and unload every last explosive that I've gotten him because I really do want to not have to fight Pascal because, you know, I don't like having to kill my own troops accidentally. Okay, let's see if we can get both of them in there. All right, that's destroyed the shield on the shield bearer. That's practically killed the Advent Priest. He's just gone into stasis for now. And that gives us a bit of an opening to open fire or anything else. Okay, Advent Purifier down. It sort of accidentally blew up Julian a bit as well. Advent Shield Bearer down for the count. Okay, that just means we've got to wait to see what this guy does. Time to mop him up. Okay, so he's running away, which means there's probably a squad in that direction if I've got any sort of sense of what he's probably doing. Mm. Right, Julian, you can hack it. Alright, system override. Uh, Let's go for the resistant broadcast one. Seems that like we might actually get it. Of course, we don't get it because that would be fair, right? 
Okay. Beacon deactivated. That means that we're not having to worry about reinforcements or anything else like that turning up. Only thing left to do is, well, kill the rest of the squads. Alright, opening up with Chrysalis. And that is one advent priest down for the count. Yeah, I was saying about there being another squad. Of course, just to really make things special, we've got the mechanized army. So we've got a sector pod as well as an advent heavy mech. On top of that, we've got yet another purifier, except this time, while well, Julian's not going to be attracting the fire, quite literally. Well, that went well. First things first, we need to take care of that sector pod, because whilst it's not likely to do much damage, if it does start opening up on us, that's when things start getting hellishly bad. Okay, that's half its armor down. I think Jordan might have a grenade left in his grenade launcher. But we will see that in a moment. Right, Mox, move up. I want you to get some shots on that, well, Advent Heavy Mech. You're going to have to move up, though, to get eyes on him. I go as ordered. Always good to have somebody with a grapple. And there he is. Okay. Right, we'll go ahead and use Mox as a line of sight to throw a grenade onto him. Nicely done. Shredded some of his armor. All right. Jordan, open fire. I said open fire. That doesn't mean just point anywhere. Preferably at the dude, but okay. No. Julian, open fire. Okay, right. Now his armor's actually shredded, and we might be able to do some serious damage to him now. Klaus, open fire. Any damage? Putting in... Well, definitely take him down bit by bit. Let's see, right. Mox, open fire. I want you to put some damage on that heavy mech. Mm, yeah, we'll do. Or could we? No. Yeah, we'll definitely fire on him. And of course, we miss anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right. Road, open fire, put her around, straight into that guy. Alright, and... Nicely done, that's just took out the sector pod. Okay, that means that we only have to deal with the Advent Heavy Mech as well as the Purifier. It's kind of weird seeing a Heavy Mech fire. It's kind of weird seeing a Mech fire for a change rather than, you know, grenade everything. I had to open my mouth. Okay, so Klaus is on fire. We probably want to go ahead and put that out. Down. Alright, plasma grenade, blow up their cover. We are just going to rip them a new one because I'm very confident they're the last squad I am not fighting, well, over this UFO for much longer. Alright, cover blow. Just got to go ahead and take them out one by one. First things first, Heavy Mech, that's the most dangerous target. Heavy Mech is annihilated. And finally, the Purifier. What do you know? With that, we kill the last squad, and that's it for this week. So, like the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, any thoughts or questions, leave them in the form of a comment down below. Check out my Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch pages, all of which can be found in the description. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more content from me. As always, this is the 117th Con, signing off. Have a brilliant day, folks, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe.